The Aurora police officer, John Hobart, who has since resigned, is now facing assault charges. Fellow officer Francine Martinez was also arrested for not intervening. So now, just 11 days after the incident, the man with being hit in the video, Kyle Vinson, told our Jeremy Hohola that he wants prompt changes in policing. I have a gun pointed straight no, at don't. your head. I don't have a when he put my face into the rocks and had the gun to the back of my head, that was pretty uh, Stop fighting. Because he didn't just have it to the back of my head, like he pushed it to the back of my head. So I was just waiting for the bullet to come out, man. How are you doing? How are you really doing today? I'm just taking it one day at a time, man. Just trying to heal, stay strong, stand up. Stand up for uh, for race and police brutality, man. It's remarkable how how good you look because oh, in you. that video the the injuries were substantial. I know. I tell people I'm like Wolverine. I just kind of like healed up real quick. I kind of got blessed for it, man. Have you been able to watch the body camera footage? Yeah, I watched a, I watched the majority of it. Um, not all at once, but it's kind of hard to take in. But I'm just thankful. I'm, I'm thankful I'm still here because uh, I thought I was gonna die or be another Elijah McClain or George Floyd. And I have stitches in my head and then I had a black eye. This is all from a pistol. And, uh, and then my chest, my chest hurts a lot. You know, you talk about the physical injuries. Yeah. What about any sort of mental health issues yeah, that you're I mean, facing? Nightmares and, you know, and just like, kind of like flashbacks. If Officer Hobart was here right now, huh. what would you say to him? I would just ask why, you know, like why did you, why, what made you that angry to use that force? What's next for you, Kyle? Um, I'm just gonna keep trying to make it aware, man. Uh, aware that p police brutality is real. And I think uh, I got a unique situation because I saw my life. So I feel like I want to do something about that, you know? And just keep taking it one day at a time, man. Officers first approached Vincent while responding to a disturbance call when they realized he had an active warrant for a prior domestic violence case out of Denver. They tried to arrest him. After his arrest, he did spend a few days in jail. That case against him is still pending.